two witnesses. There's one way people say Enoch and Elijah. Others say Moses and Elijah. In Scripture, there's a part where it literally says, and it's not just what people say, but it says when Christ was talking to somebody or another, it's in the Scripture somewhere, he says something like, I and my Father are one, I am one witness, and my Father testifies as the other witness. So it it, it says, I believe, somewhere that right then and there, there's the two witnesses, the Father and the Son. So... If, if that's the father and the son, was Moses Elijah's father or something? Or And then, because <clears throat> Moses was looked at as a god to the Pharaoh. And even Abraham, Abraham sacrificing his son Isaac is like God sacrificing his son, his only begotten son Jesus at that time. It's a, it's a, it tip, typifies that same scenario. And then uh, you got Jacob and his son Joseph, who was sacrificed, thrown into a pit, typifies Jesus Christ. And, and then at some point, who is it? Does Peter say... Master, is it good? It's good for us to be here. Um, should I make, you know, like build you a, a, a house, a tabernacle, or something, you, for you, Moses and Elijah? Because Moses and Elijah were seen with Jesus, and then all of a sudden Moses and Elijah disappeared, and it, and then it was only Jesus by himself. So, it's like, how many different versions of what two witnesses can be in the Bible? And, and is it one or the other, or is it, or is it all of the above? Because some re some, for some reason, I feel like the Bible is not, nothing is wasted. Characters are intertwined, and they're the same, it's the same spirit or the same soul traveling through different timelines with the same type of a spirit as, you know, whoever is in mind. So if Moses and Elijah were with Jesus on the mountain, that could also be just the simple fact that the spirit of Moses, which is also a picture of Christ, is inside of Christ, the, the, the vessel. The human vessel on earth, the spirit of Moses and the spirit of Elijah was with them at that time. And, and then it just comes down to being, it was just Christ himself, that one person that carried all these, uh, they carried all, all of, the reason why he would, why I think he would be considered, you know, the Christ where Moses and Elijah was with them, but not physically with him, they were with him in spirit, it's like receiving a double portion, it's, it's like, you're Christ, you become King David, but before that you have the teachings of Moses, so so Moses gets up and he teaches, and Christ is paying attention and listening and, and reading the scriptures and seeing, being struck 
the rock, Moses striking the rock. Uh, he even said before Abraham was, I am. So apparently he was always there and communicating with those different prophets in the Bible. And then Elijah, so Christ comes, well, Elijah must come first, right? And he said, well, Elijah, Elijah did come and you did to him as you pleased or something like that. So Christ with the spirit of Elijah, and then that's how those two witnesses would testify to him as the, because that, that's when Moses and Elijah are with Jesus, the, the vessel. And then, <clears throat> then you got two witnesses, which is Jesus himself, the son and the father that will testify to him. So there's two witnesses right there. And they can send plagues on the earth as often as they will. And then when you look at it as Jesus as the physical human being, and then his father as a spirit in heaven, who isn't a, an actual person, as the, as the father, son, the Holy Spirit. And then you'll have someone playing out the son, and then somebody else will play out acting as if they're the father on YouTube and then there'll be somebody else playing the Holy Spirit on YouTube and then you just may have the son and then his actual father and um, but it's like his actual father, well, Mary, see, Mary had a little lamb, but Mary had a little lamb, and the little lamb was conceived through the Holy Spirit, so in that aspect, this is a spiritual birth, and there is no sex involved, not even parthenogenesis of herself uh, having a little a little lamb but then in, in real in reality the life in life Christ comes from Mary which means man's rebellion so what did the, what did man rebel on well going from male to female and having a little lamb that would be my guess reptilian parthenogenesis creates uh, the male and female is able to get itself pregnant and then therefore Christ being a son of a man son of man but really the but really mother Mary is his mother so that's how I see all these things intertwining and it's not just one thing when people try to conclude it's that's it that's the that's the interpretation that's the only interpretation well it seems like all of the interpretations are correct but it just depends on what timeline and where you're at with it because it's a seven year tribulation period first three and a half years is the man of sin he gets revealed and then the next three and a half is the the son of perdition and and uh, the son of perdition Judas uh, with a wounded head and he does live and the first beast and, and then the second beast and the first beast could be the same as the second beast he could just be you know if it was Stephen James in the beginning and then it's John the Clark second Stephen James it's like that character he could just be an AI uh, created angry bot and then the second beast is really Jonathan Clegg and he's really the same as Stephen James it's just it's it's him it's just the the old boss Steve well he's the same person but Jonathan Clegg is now the new boss even though he is the same as the old boss but he's a new creation in Christ so he's a 
quite a, quite a uh, someone to be reckoned with as a shot caller. And um, and then even if that was true, then he would be in charge of everything, and that means all the Masonic symbols and lodges and the people that worship Lucifer as if he's Jesus. But when they were worship, worshiping Lucifer as Jesus, that was because they were deceived, thinking that Jesus was Lucifer. But then with a wounded head in the end, Lucifer does become Jesus because the spirit takes over the vessel that is called Lucifer, the, the son of perdition, the prodigal son, the, the one that skydived from heaven down here to earth and fell. And once he did that, you know, he said he would do it better than God. And then he finally meets his, he meets his father in spirit. Even though quite possibly he could be the father of the person that he had met in spirit, like the literal, you know, like, <coughs> <coughs> who was Jesus' father? Was it the devil? Because in, in the flesh, well, the devil is everybody's father. However, I think Jesus was the one that was cut off from having the communication in his ear like all the gang stalkers do on earth like how everybody's controlled I would it would make sense that he would have not had that earpiece or or however that communication is that he's not part of it and then everybody else receives the mark of the beast and he would have to figure that out too. The Christ spirit is what figures things out. So once he starts figuring all that stuff out towards the end even before I started YouTube I, I thought there's going to be a tr before I got influenced by anybody on YouTube my original gut feeling and understanding was there's a seven year tribulation period. I was hoping it was from 2011 to 2018. And when I first started, I'm like, we got one more year to go. But I didn't realize that that was more like the first seven years of plenty. <clears throat> and then the last seven. Going into 20, 2025. But there's a period of time walking with God, 365 days. Enoch gets raptured or taken or something like that. And I thought... <clears throat> the seven year tribulation period that's going to be a time where towards the end of the seventh year it's going to look like the beginning or even at the end of the tribulation when there's after three days and a half you got the first three days and a half, which is three and a half years. The second half of the tribulation, 42 months, or even 1260 days or 90. And then at the very end, people are going to think we are just getting started and we have another seven years to go. So in the Bible, there's a seven day period. There's a three and a half day period. After three days, you know, the the razor of taxes and after a few days will be destroyed. The two witnesses they'll they'll preach for I don't know, it's like twelve hundred and sixty days or ninety. And then after that, three days and a half, they're they're destroyed. And then uh, when I look at John Clerk's channel that got taken down on June 13th, 2021, I believe it was exactly 1,290 days from the time that Derek Rose 
uploaded his first video December 31st, 2017, exactly nine months after I showed up. And then after that, once he showed up and I met Stephen James, I started to get severely attacked. So, according to the, to the script, it's apparently that's what was supposed to happen. Because I'm being refined, I'm being tested, I'm being tried, I'm being groomed into a position. <clears throat> There's a seat that's waiting for me. I just got to get through the time to get there and then take a seat. So, all these different ways of... I don't remember it saying it's going to rain today whatsoever, but I guess I missed that one. <clears throat> so, Satan's in charge. It's a spirit. I believe John DeCleck knows everything. And I believe that even if he is in charge of the, of the spirit of Satan as Lucifer on earth, because he hired, you know, Stephen James to be the vicar of him. Because it seems like Steve is someone that's going to get all of you to worship him through threats and fear tactics and all that horse malarkey that comes out of his mouth. And he will get everybody to do that and turn against me because that's what had, had everybody had already done. And then, so people are going to think that, man, as soon as that hits we have to live like this for the next 42 months of the devil ruling the earth and but yet steve's time is going to be up and then after a few days everything is switched so it's not like it's not living three and a half years of no food like nothing's running and the devil's just attacking everybody all of that stuff happens in spirit Everything gets changed in spirit first. And then for those that are still blind, they get they get the uh, the news at the end. Because they're the ones that go through the great tribulation that we're in right now. We're right towards the end of it. It's a great tribulation period for the rulers. The kings of the earth is what it is. They're the ones going through it. Because it's about things being revealed. It's about the secrets. <clears throat> Jonathan Clegg got up today and confirmed the Jacob situation I've been talking about. He didn't do it right away because I think that was the other twin that got up. I think that was Paul, maybe, that got up. Or maybe it was Peter. I because one John the Cleck seems serious. Seems more like the, the, the male version. And then the other one kind of seems like the more of the mother goddess of the earth ruler. And don't let the face fool you because these are all face masks anyway. That's what I believe. Everybody's wearing face masks body suits and changing their voices. But if you're an alien and your brain had been already uploaded to computer and you're in a you're in a flesh looking body but but robotic and you have a voice box that can just be literally changed uh, just by <clears throat> telling your program and your computer chip brain to change it, just like on a computer, how you can make different voices. And that's how you guys change your voices. You put on a different suit, change your voice. You have a couple of different spirits on the John the Click channel talking in the same, but having the same body, face, hair, and everything, voice but different spirits, and that's what I've been 
That's why it's been so confusing for me over the time in Babylon. It's a land of confusion. And who's the author of that? That Gematria book. It sure is some hocus pocus, huh? Can you imagine the whole go government? Everybody goes by hocus pocus. And what's said in there is, you know, whatever Steve says goes because he's the master of it. The mastermind. The master brainwashing mind. I've proven that it is a bunch of hocus pocus. And you can get truth out of it, but it's only what someone is implying and they'll show or they'll read. Gematria is good for admitting the truth and reading a, a, an entry and acting like you're just reading it, but you're really talking about yourself. Like when Steve says, I am Master Yeshua, Yeshua Messiah, Adam Ben David. Well, he literally does would read that and say that, and he's implying that that's who he is, the God of the earth. And, I, I mean, he could be, or he's, again, in place of Lucifer himself as the vicar, because that's what it says in the website. It says he's the vicar of, of Lucifer. <clears throat> then who's Lucifer? I never looked at Lucifer as male, female before YouTube. I didn't even consider that. Now I can't see Lucifer any other way besides male and female in one body. That can change to male and can flip and change to female. But then the Lucifer race is men that do the, the transformation and that's what the Masonic symbol is all about. It's a vagina. It's a vag. It's the compass, which is the female legs, and then creating a vag, and then the penile tuck somewhere up in the area there, and, it, and then it drops down because they are the fallen. And then it gets reeled back up somehow. So that's, and that's the serpent race is what it is. But at the same time, that person changes completely from a dude to dude looks like a lady and that's why Mick Jagger or uh, Rolling Stones or whoever sings about that and that's the transformation that's the big secret 33 degrees I was called a Freemason, but that's only because Steve had to lie about me. Because what I'm figuring things out, only God could show me this. And considering I came in and found iniquity in Steve and James that nobody seen before, he had to discredit me every which way possible. Because it's like I'm his arch rival, arch rival. <clears throat> <clears throat> I rebuke you, Robin Henry Tease. Really? I thought only Michael the Archangel could rebuke Satan. And what are you trying to say? You're Michael and I'm Satan? I mean, that's ridiculous. So, that seven year period. Between me and Steve, well, it's been it's been a solid, solid six years of, of me knowing Steve and James, talking to him on the phone, FaceTime, text messages. Six years, and the moment that I. After I said make a stand for him, and then two months later, I said, ah, never mind, it's time to stand on SJD. Numbers do lie. He turned against me, you know, according to the act. Although he was never, I don't think he was ever against me, really. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he really was angry, because I 
I ruined the, the big secret. Javatri is is not <clears throat> the the almighty book. It's just a book of sorcery that you can find truth in there and you can tie stuff together. But just because you punch in a number or just because you punch in your name and all these things are said about you, remember the exact opposite can be said about you too with the same algorithm. Like how is it that my number all of a sudden 914 equals equals Mary Magdalene Christ as like the two and then and, and then a like blood guilty image and noted hypocrite and it'll say positive and then it can say the exact opposite and have the same numer numerical numerical value so there's the hocus pocus how do you take one and not the other when it's all the same number <clears throat> And then I, Robin Henry Tease, discovered Stephen James as the Antichrist. Well, yeah, against me, I discovered that because he was attacking my spirit of Christ. That's what he was attacking. So therefore, he's, he's my Antichrist. But just because Steve is a... Just because he threatens people, mainly me, but all, you know, he's... It's just so nauseating at times that there's nothing but threats that just come out of this dude's mouth. If he's even a real person, it could just be an AI. That's why I'd, when I tried to go down to Michigan twice, the first time, my kid's grandma was going to watch him, and then all of a sudden she got sick, and it's like, oh, I can't go. And then I asked Karen to watch him. She had to go to work. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm not going. Then I'm getting ready to go again, and five days beforehand my battery dies in my brand new Dodge Ram and Paul Begley had said his son's Dodge Ram his battery died before my battery died five days prior I'm like uh, okay I guess that's the other sign uh, maybe you're just not really down there Steve huh maybe that's what it is maybe you're not even a real person you're just an AI generated evil angry uh, Christ hater <clears throat> created by Jonathan Click, and it's really his program so he's basically the same person but changed over the period of time because that spirit that he created he doesn't even want it anymore that's why when the deputy goes back to his island he's going to uh, go back to his place and then Jonathan Click turns into Jesus as Satan as Lucifer because the spirit of Christ took over that vessel and that's the only way that the world can change from being good to evil or from being evil to good that's the only way the only way anything's going to change is Satan has to meet his match in 2020 and there's a 42 month period or I don't know, three year, four year period. What happened in 2020? Tiny tennis, prepare to be crushed, TT. Well, John DeClick called me a nerd on leap year. He, he didn't call me a nerd on February 28th. He called me a nerd on February 29th. 2020 and you got to wait four years for the next February 29th to come along and that's coming along now 2024 February 9th 2024 yes There's a hold up. <clears throat> so four years. Four years since Jonathan Clegg said that to me 
get giving me the letting me know he's watching my videos uh, <clears throat> he'd already apologized because he said sorry Robin Hood and all you shills you're in deep 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 trouble do they really have to do work here because it seems like a severe hold up But the Gang Stall King Corporation. It's a shame that I can't even think normal anymore. Is that done on purpose? Because everything's everything is just done on purpose. Satan is a is a spirit that eventually John Click is gonna get rid of in this on this planet. Heaven comes down to earth. Because if that's where he came from initially, well, you got to <clears throat> think about this. Think about Lucifer fell from heaven and came to earth. He's going to do it his way. Adidas. Adidas is known for the initials, all day I dream about sex. Well, that's because when you do it your way, that's what happens inside of your host body. You you do that all day long you know when you do the old tuckarooski and and uh, all day long that's what you know what you dream about it because we're living in the dream anyway but this, well I'm not living you know how people say how are you doing up oh, living the dream well it's more like up oh, how you doing uh, I'm living in the dream it damn sure ain't a dream for me. It's a, it's a nightmare, but I'm living in the dream. I'm not living the dream. Not yet. <clears throat> so, how else does the earth change? Well, Lucifer comes from heaven. He was perfect in all his ways, which means he was a perfect creation of God's. It's like he's not... He just became evil. He... The spirit of Satan was was uh, you know it was created once he sinned. But isn't that the plan? Anyway, Lucifer comes down to the earth. He tries to do it. He tries to do it his way. He does it his way. He meets his match in 2020. Because that's what hindsight is. You, you look back to 2020 and you see where the wounded head began. And then once Lucifer fulfills his mission, considering he's the one in charge of the planet as it is anyway, that's why he came down here, to live among his people. Once he does that, he gets rid of he gets rid of the uh, he gets rid of Satan. He gets rid of Satan himself. Because, well, not I mean Christ is the one that cast the devil out of him, but when the devil meets Jesus, his son in the flesh, the heavenly Father's son in spirit, Satan's son in the flesh. Which could be technically his mother. Because from man's rebellion, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Satan as Jesus' mother and then his heavenly father, a spirit in heaven. And then that would be something else in the end. Jesus meets his actual heavenly father and it's a and it's a physical being you know like the whole time you think it's just a spirit and then all of a sudden it's like oh you're real just like I am <clears throat> and the whole purpose of neglecting him his whole life is because he has to figure the things out on his own and that's how the planet changes Everybody's involved except for 
the Truman Show. Except for Truman. And <clears throat> if any man says that he doesn't sin, what did you say, Kim, Gene? He's a liar. So if Christ said he never, did, did Jesus ever say he never, what, you know what? Did Jesus ever say that he never sinned? Or did he never say that he did or didn't? I wonder about that. Is there a, well, obviously, <coughs> he's never going to say that he sinned in the Bible because if he did, If he did, then uh, well, it would be too easy. Because how do you not? You're you're a boy, right? You grow up in flesh, so here you are. You're you're God's son, but yet you're in the flesh. You're in Satan's vessel. So you're God's son in Satan's vessel. You have to conquer the flesh with the Spirit of God in you in order to take over Lucifer so Lucifer can become him. It's not that Jesus, it's not that Satan is, it's not that Lucifer is Jesus. It's, I mean, he could be, he could just be acting, but it's the fact that in the end, he becomes Christ in you. That's how you become Christ. Christ dwells in you. No matter who you are, you change. And then, considering that he's already in charge of the planet, that's it's perfect. It's like, find Lucifer, Jesus. Find Lucifer. And convince him to do things the way that you would want them done if you ran the planet. That way, you will run the planet because your spirit will be inside of the one that runs the planet. <clears throat> and then Jacob will rule as the almighty God. And then everybody lives happily ever after.